Hello and welcome to Photoshop Skills. My name is Gerald and in this video I will show you the simplest way to create a face slice effect like this. So let's begin. So let's start by creating a new document and choose the dimension. For my case I will be using 2560 by 1440 pixels and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. But you can use any custom size that you feel like but i'll be going with this so let's create next step we have to drag the image that we are going to use for my case i'm using this guy here then the, the next step we have to cut out the head so for this video we shall be using the pen tool to cut out the head so let's grab our pen tool it's here and while cutting you can always hold the alt button and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out then you can also hold the space bar on your keyboard and drag around to move it to the, the right spot that you want so let's begin our cut So after you reach the last point of your cut, you can zoom out and right click, make selection. So you can change the feather radius to 2 so that the edges are not so sharp. Then press OK. So next up, let's refine the edges of our selection. So if you zoom in, you can see that some parts of the hair has been cut out. So we need to do some corrections. So you come to select and click on select and mask. For those who are using Photoshop CS6, you can do the same thing, but instead of select and mask, you will see refine edge. It's the same thing. So click here. You can zoom out. So make sure the view mode is under overlay. So you come here and grab the refine edge brush. And you just brush around the area where you see the white. For this tutorial, you don't need to be so precise. Yeah, I think this will do for now. So come to the output settings and choose new layer. So our output will be on a new layer. So hit OK. So when you are done with that, you can see the selection of the head is now perfect. So for the next step, come to your move tool. Click on it. So you are able to move the head around. But you can see the head is bent and we need to make it straight so you can hit ctrl plus t on your keyboard and move it around move rotate it around so that it's straight and when it's perfect for you then you can hit this tick up here so this is our head selection and make sure you always clear the layers that you are not using like for this example we have this layer we no longer need it so you can drag it down here to delete so we now have just our background layer and the head layer so we can rename this to face so we have reached the point where we should start cutting the slices of the face so for a matter of simplicity let's use the ellipse tool after clicking on your ellipse tool, you can just draw an ellipse around the place where you want your first cut to be. So when you're done, you can release it. Then on your keyboard, press Ctrl plus Shift, 
plus j so what this does it creates a new layer of the cut that you just made so if i go back to the move tool you can see that i can move this part and it's on an, on its own layer so let's rename this as slice one so this is our slice one next up go back to your ellipse tool and we are going to make the second slice so draw an ellipse I think around here is okay so after doing that you can release then before you make this second slice make sure the first layer is the one that is selected remember we are making the slices from the first layer so after activating the first layer press ctrl plus shift plus j so it splits this on its own layer so when you go back to the move tool you can move this around also then let's rename this as our slice tool now let's make the third slice go back to your ellipse tool and draw an ellipse around so i think this is also perfect release then go back and activate the first layer and press ctrl plus shift plus j Go back to your move tool and you can move this around also. Rename it to slice 3. Then for our last slice, go back to the ellipse tool. Draw the last slice. And go back and activate the first layer. Then on your keyboard, press Ctrl plus Shift plus J. Go back to the move tool and you can move this around. So rename this to slice four. So the next thing we are going to do is to add the blood texture to the slices that we just made. So drag the blood texture that you are going to use to your document. So this is the blood texture that we are going to be using. If you want to use this one in specific, I'll leave its link in the description, but you can use any of your choice. So come to the, the, the blood texture layer and rename it. So we shall call this our blood texture. Then right click here, then click on rasterize layer. Simply because we are going to make changes to, to the layer so we have to make it editable so what we do next is use your free transform tool you can press ctrl plus t and reduce the size of the texture so this is what we have the next thing we are going to do grab the ellipse tool and make a, a selection a, a portion of, of your blood texture that you feel like using so I'll grab this you can move this around so I think I'll take this portion and that will do for us so we have to get rid of the rest of the, the texture so what we are going to do press ctrl plus shift plus I that makes an inverse selection so we made the selection of the ellipse so by pressing ctrl plus shift plus i it selects everything that is outside that ellipse so to delete it press ctrl plus x so now we have just this go back to your move tool you can move this thing around so at this point let's start putting the blood texture on the slices so the trick of working with so many layers is the art of renaming the layers in a way that you understand it better. So this blood texture we shall need to duplicate since we have we have four slices that we shall need to add the blood texture on. 
that is slice two, slice three, slice four, and the face the face layer also needs that black texture. Our slice one, which is the head, will not be needing the, the texture. So let's duplicate this black texture. Make sure the, the layer is activated and press Ctrl plus J. Then rename it. Just like I said, you have to rename it in a way that you understand better. So I can say this is blood texture for slice two. So this is our blood texture for slice two. You can see it here when you move. So let's place this. Let's place this on, on, on our slice two. So this is our slice two. You can extend it here a bit. Then move move the blood texture on top and press Ctrl plus T to transform it. So to bend this down, hold the shift key while you move it down a bit. So you can increase the size. Double click to see if it's perfect. If it's not perfect, you can press Ctrl plus T again. Move it around, decrease, extend it down until you see that it's a perfect fit for you. You can use the arrow keys to move it up and down. So I think this will work. So what you do to avoid confusion, since this is the blood texture for slice two, you can drag it on top of slice two layer here. Then you're going to hold the shift key and select slice two. So we have selected this blood texture layer and the, the layer for slice two. So come here and right click, then you click on merge layers. So you can see this, these two layers have been merged. So let's zoom out and we start working on the, on the next. So come back to your blood texture layer, make another copy. So you can press Ctrl plus J then rename it. So let's make this blood texture for slice three. So this will be our blood texture for slice three. Find your slice three, which is this one. Then move your blood texture on top of that slice. Press Ctrl plus T and start trans the transformation until it makes a perfect fit. Always zoom in to see how it's fitting. You can always use the arrow key to move it down and up or on the sides. So in my opinion, I think this one is okay. Yeah, this can work. So drag that blood texture for slice 3 layer on top of your slice 3 layer. Then you do the same thing, hold the shift key and press slice 3 so that it selects the two of them. Then right click and merge layers. So you can see our slice 3 is also merged to its blood texture. So next up is the, the fourth slice. So make another copy of the blood texture layer, press Ctrl plus J, and you can rename it, let's rename this to blood texture for slice 4. So let's move the, the, the that layer that we just duplicated, put it on top of your slice 4, keep the Ctrl plus T on your keyboard and you start transforming. Hold the shift key to bend it down a bit. Increase the width. You can rotate it until you see it fitting the way you, you want. So you can decrease the size. Always press Ctrl plus T to bring back that free transformation tool. Then use the arrow keys to move it to the specific point that you want it. So I think this is also okay. 
Now drag the layer, the blood texture for slice for on top of the slice for layer. After that, hold your shift key and you click on slice for to select the two of them. Then right click and merge layers. So you can move this around, it's already merged. So we are having one last. So let's add our blood texture on the on the last on the last layer which is the first layer here. So there is no need to duplicate now since it's the last. We can just use the original one. So let's put it on top and Ctrl plus C to transform. Press the shift key to bend it down. You can zoom in to take a closer look. Increase the size. Bend it, increase the size, you can rotate it, so you play around with it until it's perfect. So that is also a perfect selection. Now next step, let's merge it, let's merge it to, to, to the first layer. So the blood texture layer, drag it down on top of the first layer, so you can hold the shift key click on the first layer so the two layers have been selected right click and merge layers so you can also move that individually so next up here let's start arranging the slices the way we want them to be so you can zoom in to take a closer look so you can always arrange your slices in any format you don't need to follow this one have to, to to create it in any any other creative way that you think is perfect for you so I'll just put this so if you feel you need to rotate it somehow you can press ctrl plus t on that specific layer and rotate it the way you want so come to to the layers panel select the first layer hold the shift key and select the last layer make sure you don't select the background layer so with all the layers selected you can go back to your move tool and you can move all of them at once balance them in the middle of your document so if you want to transform all of them on your keyboard press ctrl plus t and then you can just increase the size until you get the size that you want yeah, then double click on it so I think this is perfect and if you feel you still want to add just any other layer you can always come back to the layers choose the layer that you want to adjust then you can start adjusting you can start moving it around yeah, just like this next up you can decide to change the background so let's change the background and first delete this so drag this here then create a new layer make sure it's under all these other layers because it's going to be the background you can rename it to background then you come to this click here and go to solid color then you can choose a color of your choice I think I'll go with this then we can add we can add a glow yeah, we can add a glow behind this image so you can come again and create a new layer rename it glow So after renaming this, come to your brush tool. Your brush tool is here. Increase the brush size by by pressing the square brackets. And make sure the foreground color is white. So you can press this to change. Or you could just come here and you choose white color. Then you can start painting the whites. So you can see that glowing effect. So 
so when we are done with this what else can we add we can still add some other details that we feel like adding the next thing we are going to do here is to merge the layers of the slices so that we are able to adjust them and put them in any position we want so come back to the move tool hit on your first slice and go to the last slice on the layers panel hold the shift button and click then right click and merge layers so when the layers are merged all these are now one layer so we can move it around we can transform it so one other thing we are going to be adding is the drop shadow so create another layer make sure it's under that layer so go to the brush tool and choose a black color so you can reduce the brush size make sure the opacity is around 100 then you can click a point under here so the fact that this brush stroke is on a, another layer we can transform it so on your keyboard press ctrl plus t then you can enlarge then posi position it in in the right place that you want then you can come to the opacity and you reduce it so that it looks like a, a shadow from the image this is a bit too wide so you can decrease the size i think this is a perfect shadow so if you want to add any other adjustments you can go on until you see the final results that you're looking for so if you like this video please subscribe to support the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you.